Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about the ellipse, transforming general form to standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is actually the standard form of an ellipse. There would be quantity x minus h square over a square plus quantity y minus k square over b square equals 1. Or you can have this equation, so quantity x minus h square over b square plus quantity y minus k square over a square equals 1. So your a class is always the principal axis, okay, or the major axis. So your a here is the major axis. So we transform this general form into this form. Alright, so the part 1 of our video class, this video, we will be answering number 1. Alright, so we have two quadratic terms, we have x squared and y squared. Then we have two linear terms. We have we know we know class that is it is a linear term. A number together with a variable with the exponent of one. So we call it linear term. So we have two linear terms, x and y, and then one constant. So same with number two. More trickier because we have the x, the number before x is greater than one. Understood class that there's one here in x squared. So greater than one, and we have more numbers, greater numbers. But for number 3 class, this is actually requested from our subscribers and our followers. It is more trickier because we don't have the value of the linear term, one linear term. We only have the quadratic term. Once again class, we know that it is the quadratic term. A number together with a variable with the exponent of 2, we call it quadratic term. So we have two quadratic terms and then only one linear term. We don't have the value of x, the linear term for x. So what would be the thing that we will do to solve this number 3? And I will just put the link class in the description down below on how to solve number 2 and number 3. Step by step class, we will explain that to you. Alright, so let's answer number 1. So in this video, we will be answering number 1. Alright, so first step class is you need to separate the x variables and the y variables. Alright, so this will be x squared. Then copy the x variable plus 2x. And then you will leave a space class because we will need to complete the square. We will be, we will be doing the completing the square. We need to add a new constant. So leave a space. Then plus separate the y variables 4y squared plus 8y. Then you leave a space. Okay, equals. Then you transpose this constant. This one class, you transpose this from left to right of this equal sign. So this is positive 1. Do not forget, once you transfer a number or an equation from this equal sign, you always change the sign. This is positive, it will be negative 1. Alright, now next, before doing the completing the square, you check first class with regards to the x variables and the y variables if we can factor the numbers. So for x, we cannot factor the numbers because we don't have it. We have number here, it's only 1. Okay, so we cannot factor the number for x variable, so we can just simply copy this one. So x squared plus 2x, and we put parentheses. Alright, and then for y class, check class, can we factor out the number? Can we factor 4 and 8? Yep, we can factor 4 and 8. The GCF of 4 and 8, we can factor this out by 4, right? Because we can divide 4 by 4, and we can also divide 8 by 4. So therefore, the GCF of 4 and 8, that, it, that would be 4. So you copy 4, then factor this out, you divide 4y squared divided by 4, so 4y squared divided by 4, so cancel this 4, because 4 divided by 4 is 1, so that would be y squared. y squared, and then you also divide 8y divided by 4y, or 8 divided by 4, positive 8 divided by positive 4, that's positive 2, y divided by none, just simply copy y. Alright, so 8y divided by 4, 8 divided by 4, that's 2, then copy y, 2y. Then you leave a space, because we will be adding a new constant, then equals negative 1. Alright, so next step class is we do the completing the square to make this equation on the parenthesis a perfect square trinomial. So this will be, so the formula class in getting okay, the new constant the number that you will be adding here is that would be b over 2 quantity squared. So our b class is beside x, the linear term. Beside this linear term, that would be 2. So that would be 2 divided by 2. Once again, the formula, b divided by 2. So 2 came from here. 2 beside x, that would be our b. 
divided by 2, quantity squared. So 2 divided by 2, that is 1, quantity squared. So 1 squared plus, it doesn't mean 1 times 2. It, it, it means 1 times 1. You multiply 1 by itself twice. This will be 1 times 1, and the answer is 1. So therefore, you will add 1 here on this equation. Now, once you add 1 on the left side of this equal sign, you also add 1 on the right side to make the equation balance. Alright, so we add 1 here on the left side. We also add 1 on the right side. Alright, so next step is we do the completing the square in this equation. So that would be same formula, b divided by 2, quantity squared. So our b is beside y, the linear term. Beside this y, that would be 2 over 2, quantity squared. So 2 divided by 2, that is 1 squared. So 1 squared, it means 1 times 1. So 1 times 1, that is 1. Alright, so plus 1. Now careful with this 1 class. You will not add 1 on the right side. So a while ago, we add 1 on the left side. And we also add 1 on the right side. But this time, we will not be adding 1 since we have a common factor, which is 4. So the thing that you will do, you multiply this one. 4 times 1, that is 4. And that will be the thing that you will be adding. That's positive 4 class. Be careful with this 1 class. Sir, why is that? Because we factored this out a while ago. This is not really the equation class. The equation is 4y squared plus 8y. But we factor it out by 4. That's why we need to add we need to multiply 4 and 1, and that will be the thing that we will be adding. Alright, or plus 4 times 1. Once again, 4 times 1 came from this equation. 4 times 1. Instead of adding 1, since we factor this out by 4, we need to multiply 4 and 1. So that would be plus 4 times 1. Alright, so I hope you get that one class. Check. Be careful with that one. If you factor the numbers, if you factor the equation or the numbers, you need to multiply the factor and the thing that you'll be adding once you complete the square. So 4 times 1, that will be 4. So you will be adding 4. So this will be, this is a perfect square trinomial class. And we make it into square of binomial. It's very easy class to make it into square of binomial. Just simply get the square root of the first term. So the square root of x squared, that is x. And the square root of the last term, the square root of 1, that is 1. And then you copy the sign of the middle term. So positive, then quantity squared. That's it. All right, square root of the first term, x. Square root of the last term, 1. Then you copy the sign of the middle term. Once again, always remember this one class. Once you, com once you do the completing the square, your answer is always a perfect square trinomial in which you can make it into square of binomial by just getting the square root of the first term, square root of the last term, then you copy the sign of the middle term, you put parentheses, then squared. That's it. Easy, right? Even if you multiply this one using the FOIL method, you will get this answer class. Okay, let's try. x plus 1. x plus 1 squared, it means x plus 1 times x plus 1. You multiply x plus 1 by itself twice. Let's check class doing the FOIL method. Do you still remember the FOIL method? First, outer, inner, last. Let's check if we get this equation. So x times x, that would be x squared. First, outer, x times 1, that's positive x. Inner, 1 times x, that would be positive x. Last, 1 times 1, that's positive 1. Now, when you combine like terms, you can combine this one, x and x. So, copy x squared, x plus x, understood that there's 1 here. So, adding variable, adding algebraic expression, simply copy the variable, the literal coefficient. So, add the number, 1 plus 1 is 2, then simply copy x plus 1. So, you get the same answer class. So it will take time if you do it by factoring. So the thing that you will do, simply get the square root of the first term, x square root of the last term, 1, then copy the sign of the middle term, then you put quantity, then squared. Easy, right? And then plus, so copy 4, alright, and then get the square root of the first term, so square root of y squared, that is y, and then square root of the last term, square root of 1, that is 1. And then you copy the sign of the middle term, positive. You put quantity, then squared. That's it. And then, this one is negative 1 plus 1. So negative 1 plus 1, that is 0. So we, let me copy this one first. Negative 1 plus 1, 4 times 1. So because multiplication comes first before addition. Okay? You, you always follow PEMDAS class. PEMDAS. 
parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So we need to multiply this one first. Alright, so this will be 1, negative 1 plus 1, then 4 times 1, that is 4. So combine this one. Okay, let me just copy x plus 1 squared plus 4y plus 1 squared equals, so negative 1 plus 1, that is 0. So cancel this out, and you, will, you still have 4. Now, once again, class, in the ellipse, we're almost done. So, in the ellipse, class, the number on the right side should be equal to 1. Okay? The equation should be equal to 1. So, therefore, what would be the thing that we will do so that 4 will be equal to 1? Of course, we need to divide it by 4. Because 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. So, divide, it one, divide this equation by 4. And then, you also divide this equation by 4 and 4. Once again, once you divide an equation on the right side, by 4, you also do that on the left side to make the equation balance class. Always remember this one. Once you divide an equation on the right side, you also do that on the left side. Alright, so 4 divided by 4, this will be 1. And of course, class understood that there's 1 here. So 1 divided by 4, or 1 divided by 4, just simply copy because we cannot do anything about this one. Alright, so 1 divided by 4, we cannot divide 1 by 4. So simply copy this denominator 4 and this one can we divide 4 and 4 yep we can divide 4 and 4 4 divided by 4 is 1 okay 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 4 divided by 4 is 1 all right so therefore the denominator here will be 1 so this will be so the final answer for this one class that would be x plus 1 quantity squared over 4 plus this will be, understood that there's 1 here, so this will be y plus 1 quantity squared over 4 divided by 4 is 1 equals 4 divided by 4 is 1. Alright, so that's it last. This will be your equation now, the standard form of an ellipse for number 1. Alright, so if the teacher will ask you to find the vertex, of course vertex, that is h and k. Alright, h and k for the vertex. Now your h class is beside this x. Check the equation class. x minus h square plus y minus k square. So it's always h is always beside x. Alright, so your vertex class, once again, this is beside x. If this is positive 1, if this is positive 1, you get the additive inverse. So if this is positive 1, therefore your h is negative 1. If this is positive 1 for k, therefore your k is negative 1. You get the additive inverse class. Once again, h is beside x. If this is positive, you get the additive inverse. Your answer will be negative 1. If this is positive for k, because y, it says y minus k. So k is near, is beside y. So if this is positive 1, your k will be negative 1. And that will be your vertex class. All set for number 1. We transform the general form into standard form and this will be your answer all right so the next part of our video class the part two so feel free to see the link in the description down below i will just put the part two class on the description down below so i hope you learned something new today and if you learned something new today do not forget to like share and subscribe you share to your classmates class so that we can help more students once again this is teacher mj bye bye